How you doing guys? I'm Sean, welcome to Rambles with my camera. Guys, just a quick update on the uh, the unreleased Nikon D7, D7XX camera that can shoot in total darkness. And I've done a video on this on the 20th of December. So basically, I have just got a notification. It's uh, just going on for 20 to 6 in the morning here, so I've got a bit of a croaky voice. So basically, I've just got on to the comments here. Where did it go? Yeah, and I've got a uh, update in hours ago from uh, Scuba 90 fa Well, Keith, you're going to have to change this name, my brother, because I can't pronounce it. If you want me to give you uh, credit of your comments, you're going to have to start changing it. So what is that there, Scuba 90 fa um, There must be a reason behind that, Keith. Anyway, Keith says, rambles with my camera later, says a new camera. It's not a new camera, but a new sensor in a D750 body. So I went out and I started checking. So I went over to the original source, Nikon Rumors, and yes, they've got it up in the December 22nd. So, okay, here we go. Additional information on low-light Nikon DSLR camera. The two low-light pictures I published two days ago were not taken with a new camera, but with a new sensor, if this makes any sense. The new sensor was installed inside an Icon D750 test mule stroke body without any specific markings on the outside. The sensor had a 20 megapixel resolution full frame and was specifically designed for low light photography. There's no indications if Nikon will or will not go ahead with the sensor. This was simply a test and nothing more. Similar tests are done all the time in different locations and this is not really an indication of an upcoming camera. I was ensured that this was not a hoax and the pictures were not fabricated in order to gain online fame. I am hoping to get the full resolution JPEG or NAF files in order to get additional information once and if I receive them I will upload them and here on the blog. This is really all I can share for now. And Nikon rumours have put it um, out to photograph there and I will link over now to the, uh, let's see. Okay, so that's the picture sent over. Nikon D750, 24 to 70 mil, 2.8, 2.87. So this is a camera um, ISO uh, 12800. Three seconds. Right, so this is the, uh, the photograph that I'm assuming Thomas. I have to point out here, if you go over to Thomas Johnson's site, and obviously there's probably fear running through Nikon rumours, uh, possibly being approached by Thomas Johnson, obviously. Well, not obviously, uh, possibly. And if you go down to his site here, 21st December, hereby the line of me being accused is a shitty liar. Um, also, no one asked me about permission. Nice for the lawyers. And of course, Nikon rumours original article there. And then you've got all the support from his friends and things like that, you know. Uh, Thomas, the 21st, sure, opposing Nikon rumours. Yes, do you think nothing to worry about? Well, new sensor. You know my relationship to Nikon and lenses from Tamron. Since I was attacked today, 300 forum, pant, lots of YouTube clips, that liar. Uh, yes, those of you who know me, truth is gold, everything else shit goes on. I'll, let you, I'll put the links down below anyway. But basically Thomas has took off the original post um, that he's done. So when you go on to Nikon Rumours, um, obviously they've took they've actually changed their original post. They've took Thomas's name off. There's no mention of Thomas. So maybe he's quaking in their boots um, on being sued on thing, which I think it's very sad um, if they're panicking about something like that. I broke it. Well, I didn't break it. I shared a video on information that if it is true, and I still doubt it is true going on what I'm being told and what I'm seeing. And I'm quite entitled to do it. But I'm also saying it's possible. Um, it could be true. Now the problem you've got here is there's somebody there who sent their test in a sensor for a Nikon. And puts out two photographs on their Facebook page. And gets annoyed that people want to find out or people get wow, look, this is gonna, if this happens, it's going to be fantastic. And he doesn't want people to see it. 
Well, Thomas, I don't know if you're going to be watching this video. I know I sent you links whenever I publish my video off you. But if you're watching this video, uh, what were you thinking? And, you know, what do you expect if you're putting out photographs claiming that they were taken in total darkness with a new sensor uh, published on your Facebook comments and people who are interested in photography and have got photography channels and articles and online uh, magazines and they're getting hyped up about this. You're telling us that this photograph was taken in complete darkness. Yet you don't want us to tell people about it. You want to keep it private on your Facebook. You want to keep it private, brother. Don't be uploading it. And if you're saying you're going to get into trouble with Nikon and Tamron, then maybe you should ask yourself, why did you uh, why did you go ahead and publish uh, things without their consent? Okay, Maybe you shouldn't really be testing things for other people if you're letting the photograph slip onto the thing. My views on this, guys, I'm not too sure. I still don't think, and I have to be careful with my words, um, I'm still very suspicious that these photographs are taken with a new sensor in the conditions that they were said that they were taken on. I still don't believe with the information that I've received through this and through looking at the photograph and looking at Thomas's uh, Facebook page, I still cannot see how um, you can get a quality of a photograph like this in total darkness with no moonlight whatsoever um, and a sensor stuck on the back of a camera at this moment in time. But we'll see. I'm open for persuasion. Um, so I'll keep you updated anyway. Uh, the plot thickens. Guys, send you love from Ireland. And thanks again for watching.